hi and welcome my name is kilichi and i'm going to be your instructor in this short course to solve the codility developer training lesson two on arrays using c sharp programming language in this course you will get a brief overview of my solution in solving the cyclic rotation tax in lesson two using c sharp this is the second tutorial in our Codility lesson series. So if you want to get an overview of what Codility has to offer, please watch our earlier videos. If you're not aware of C-Sharp, you should know that C-Sharp is a powerful and versatile language. So if you're looking to take up a developer test for any remote job, solving a Codility lesson will be a great help for you. However, this lecture is not a beginner's course some experience using c -sharp is required however we will soon be releasing our full c -sharp course which will take you from beginners to expert level so once again my name is kelechi and i'm a software developer with over a decade of experience developing and teaching software development let me know in the comments section how this course has helped you or if you have any questions and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel Without wasting any more of your time, let's get right into it. Welcome back. By the end of this chapter, we would have successfully understood the requirements of the cyclic rotation task and would have created a solution for the cyclic rotation task. So if you're ready as I am, let's get right into it. Okay, so first, let's understand the requirements of the cyclic rotation class. To begin with, let's go to app.codility.com slash programmers. And we'll give it a second to load. So if you're not already logged in, you log in from here. I'm going to log in with my credentials right now. And then we go to lessons. Go to lesson two on arrays. And we choose cyclic rotation and we view it. Make sure you set your language to C sharp. And after setting your language to C sharp, let's go through what this problem is saying. And it reads, an array A consisting of N integers is given. Rotation of the array means that each element is shifted right by one index. And the last element in the array is moved to the first place. For example, the rotation of an array A, which equals 3, 8, 9, 7, and 6, is 6, 3, 8, 9, and 7. If you notice, the elements are shifted right by one index, and 6 is moved to the last place because 6 was at the last index of the first array. The goal is to rotate array A k times, that is, each element of A is shifted to the right k times. So our task is to write a function in a class called solution and this function takes two parameters, an integer array of A and an integer of k which is the number of times the rotation should occur and when it's done, it returns an integer of arrays. So given an array A cons consisting of n integers and an integer k, returns the array a rotated k times for example a which is an array equals 3 8 9 7 and 6 and k is equal to 3 when it is rotated three times we can see that the answer is 9 7 6 3 and 8 another example is given a is equals to 0 in the three indexes and it is rotated one time it should also still return 0 in 3 places. 
similarly a third example is given and a is equal to one two three four and it is rotated four times because k is equal to four the functions should come back to one two three four we assume that n and k and integers are integers within the range of 0 to 100 and each element in array a is an integer within the range of minus 1000 to 1000 in your solution focus on correctness the performance of your solution will not be the focus of this assessment all right so now that we understand what the requirements is let's go into our id and begin formulating our solution Welcome back. And in this section, we're going to begin with um, formulating our solution to solve the cyclic rotation tax. As usual, let's begin by launching Visual Studio, my, which is my ID of choice. I'm using Visual Studio 2019. So I'm going to launch the ID and I'm going to create a new console application. And I'm going to name it Cyclic Rotation. When I'm done, I hit the create button and launch it. So once our console application is ready, the first thing is to recreate our solution class. And I'm just going to quickly go back to the Codility website and copy it out. And now I'll paste it back in my ID and format it so that I don't have any errors and we can begin developing our solution for this tax. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create an array of integers called values to hold the argument A, which is also an array of integers. Now, let's now return our values variable. Next, I'm going to create a method called swap. The purpose of this method is to receive and return an integer array. We then create an create an int variable called new array in this our swap method and we set its length to be the length of the int array argument we then use an if statement to check if the new array length is zero if it is zero we return the new array if it isn't zero we first want to initialize the first element of the new array which is the last element of the int array argument. We then loop through the int array argument and set the next element of the new array variable with the current element of the int array argument. We, don't re we then return the new array variable. After we are done with this, we return to our solution class and use a for loop to run the swap method which we just created. You should know that this for loop is going to run for the value of k. So if k is 3, it will run 3 times. If it is 5, it will run 5 times. Now that we are done developing our solution, let us modify our main class so that we can run the test conditions from the Codility website. We first create an int array and use the values provided from the Codility website. We then set our k value and create an instance of the solutions class.
we finally use a for loop to write to the console all the return values. Wow, our conditions work perfectly. So I encourage you to test with as many conditions as you can. Just make sure that they fall within the range that was given on the Codility website. So test and test and test. Make sure you check all the fringe cases and make sure and your code passes all of them. So without further ado, let's go back to the Codility website where we can test our solution. So now back on the Codility website, let's click on start so that we can test our solution and see how it passes the conditions and the parameters given on the Codility website. I'm going to skip the tour for now and I'm just going to click let's start. Make sure to set your language to C sharp and confirm it. So the next thing I'm going to do is to copy all my code from my IDE. I'm just going to copy that right now. Both the method I developed and the solution. So I'll paste the method first. And then copy my for loop. and paste it also i'll just confirm that i don't have any imports and when i'm good i would run the code so our code passes all initial conditions next we're going to submit our tax and give it a few minutes to see how it did and how our code performs Wow, we had a perfect score of 100%. 100%. So you can look through and see the various test conditions and what comments that Codility has to say and see how you performed. So great job. We have successfully created our solution and it works perfectly. So I'll see you in the next class. Take care wow you made it to the end thank you so much for watching to this point really hope that this course has helped you the source codes for this tax can be found in the description below and if you're still having any challenge please let us know in the comments below or if you feel you have a solution that's better than ours we are more than welcome and willing to learn from you Remember, we will soon be releasing our full c -sharp course from beginners to masteries in the coming weeks. And we have a ton of great materials and courses lined up to take you to the next level of your programming journey. So don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, take care.